Hey guys, I'm MS Guy, and today I will be showing you a Yahtzee game I made with Java, one of my favorite programming languages. But before I start showing you this cool program, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel with notifications on so you don't miss more great content like this. So, let's get started. In case you don't know, Yahtzee is a popular dice game that involves rolling dice and scoring them based on how many points each score will earn you. I'm not going to go in-depth about the rules, because this video is about a program, not an instructions video for Yahtzee. So, let's start with the code. We'll start with the main Java class, which I have named Displayer. As you can see, I have a lot of code and it looks pretty complicated, but I could probably shorten this code down, because it's a bit much. Anyway, this first section of code is just declaring fields or variables. I need a lot because I have booleans and number storage for each score of each player. I also need some other variables for while loops, objects, and gameplay. Now, this little bit of code at the beginning introduces the players, asks for their names, and reads instructions if they ask for it. Here are the instructions. And right after that, the gameplay code starts. This code rolls the dice by creating five new random objects and chooses a random number between one and six. It will then print out what you rolled and asks if you want to roll again, view scoring options, or score those dice. Then, if the player wants to score something, it'll run this code. So, this is a pretty long section of code. It has if statements for each possible score. Basically, the way it works is, the program opens up another class, either the top section or low section class, used for handling scoring functions. This class will check whether the player actually scored correctly, and will calculate how many points the player earned from that score. Then, the displayer class will use the get score integer to read out the player's score and will change that player's score accordingly. Then, it will read out the player's total score, which it does by opening up the read scorecard class. Now, this code mostly repeats for the second player's turn, with the exception of different variable names, so I'm just going to skip through this part. Now, we're getting near the bottom of this file. Here, the program prints out the results for each player, and will say who won. Next, the game will ask you if you want to play again, and if so. The program will run this void to clear all the variables, and will start the program over again. And here are some other voids used during gameplay. This one reads out the player's scoring options, and this one asks the player which dice he or she wants to roll again if he or she chooses the roll again option. So, now that we've finished looking at the main file, let's look at the scoring classes in more detail. So, here is the top section class, which handles the scoring of 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, and 6s. So, as you can see, each void increases a variable based on how many dice landed on the corresponding number. Once that is calculated, the displayer void uses the get score integer to, well, get the score. So, as you can see, first it will find whether that player is player 1 or 2, and then we'll see if that player has already scored that certain score. If they haven't scored it already, it will return their points, and if they have, it will return 100, which the displayer class knows means that the player has to score something different. For the low section class, which handles the more complicated scores, the code is also more complicated. I had to write long if statements to verify if the player actually had the score they requested. If they had it, the computer will calculate how many points they have. If they don't, the get score integer will return zero. So, now that I've gone through the code, let's move on to actually playing the game. Okay, so now I have opened up the game and ran it, so now 
I have started the program. So you can see it greets the player. It has my username here. Then it asks for player one's name. So here I'm just going to put MS guy. Then for player two, I'm just going to put MS guy two. Now I'm just going to put no because I don't want to hear the instructions. And now it will just start the game. So it'll display my role when I press enter. So now I have five, six, five, two, and six. So I think I'm going to go for fives. So what I want to do is type again to roll the dice again. Now it'll ask me if I want to roll this dice again. And I don't because I want to have as many fives as possible. So then I'll type yes here because it's not a five. No here, yes here, and yes here. And it'll also ask you are you sure so that if you made a mistake you can go back and fix it. So I'm just going to type yes. Now it'll roll again. And now I have another five. So now we're just going to roll again. Say no, yes, no, no, and yes. Yes. I think it just rolled the same thing. So now I'm going to type five to score fives. And then you can see that it updates my scorecard. So now it's uh, my second player's turn. So it'll just do the same thing here. So I'm just going to go quick. So I'm going to score twos right now. And now it updates that. So that's about it for the game. Um, it just goes on like that for a full game. And I like it. It's pretty much like the regular Yahtzee. And it has all the right aspects to it. So... If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and also, I'll leave a link to GitHub on in the description, because I have the full code for this on GitHub. So yeah, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe, comment, turn on notifications, it really helps my channel out. So, see you next time. <laughs>